after making the bed, the next point of our lesson is dusting. So when you are dusting, you have to follow the same procedure. You can use clockwise procedure or anti-clockwise. So by now, I choose to use clockwise procedure. As I told you yesterday, when you are spraying, you need to make a distance of eight inches from you and this furniture polish. When you are dusting this, you don't have to put on chemical. You just remove dust with the dry cloth. Then I came here. I have to dust the table and the light. When you reach on the table, you have to pay much attention for the bed because it's already made. You do it slowly. Then you come to the other side. You do the same. When you are cleaning the bedside light, you start from top, going to the bottom. You clean also under, and you clean the seats of it before. You have to dust also the telephone. And you put it properly. Remember also the wires. After dusting the tables, you need also to check for the walls and you see if there is no mark on it. Because this AC is very tall than me, I can't reach there, so I need to use feather duster, long feather duster. For dusting the AC, we need to use long feather duster because we can't reach there easily.
Then I continue. I continue here. And you remove the first. Of course, I have to use my pockets wisely. I have to dust even the stand, the table stand. I need just to remove small, small fluffs on chair, even on this one, and dust also the leg. And I have to shift from here to the other table. Because it's clockwise, I have even to remember about this door. I have to clean it with furniture polish because it's a wooden surface. And I do it from top to bottom. The stainless steel, if there is no mark on it, you just dust. And if there is mark or some stains, I can bring cream cleaner for it. Then I came back here. When I reach here, you found that there are different surfaces. This one is multipurpose. This is glass and this is furniture. So I need to bring First of all, for multipurpose and for glass. So for that thing here, if I found some mark on it, like removing this one, I can use multi-surface or multipurpose according to the, the way you want to name it because it's the same. I spray here. First open. And remove this mark. Even I can remove with it the window frame. And I continue with the window cleaner for the glass. Remember that it's from top to the bottom of the mirror. Then you turn the other side, which is dry. And you have to check for the cleanliness of your cleaning cloth. It has to be 100% clean.
Then we go back to our furniture, our table. And I use the correct furniture polish for wood. I clean this one with furniture polish because it's leather. Leather also can be clean with furniture polish. If you reach here, you have also to open the drawer and dust inside, even here. You make sure you clean everywhere. And you close back. Then after cleaning, you have to put back to rearrange the stuff you found on the table, like this. Then you clean also the chair. And after cleaning the chair, you have to arrange the chair properly. So when you are arranging the chair, remember don't close it like this. Just open it, put it half open, so it can be easier for the guests who come in to just sit without pulling fast the chair. After making bed and dusting, the next point that we are going to do now is about cleaning the bathroom. And we have to clean the bathroom before we, we, we mop or before we vacuum. So this is the, the end of this lesson and I'm waiting you for the next lesson. Thank you very much. <laughs>